So hello friends, what is the procedure being done here? Is this applanation tonometry? No, this is not applanation tonometry. This is a procedure which is called gonioscopy. Remember, the gonioscopy is a very important procedure that is being done in ophthalmology. Why it is done? It is the gold standard to know about the various angles, whether the patient is having an open angle or the closed angle. Also, it can tell you about the neovascularization that is happening in the angles, which is a feature of proliferative diabetic retinopathy or it is a feature of the central retinal venous occlusion. Also, if there is a foreign body or there are the silicon oil globules in the angles, that can also be detected by this gonioscopy. Now, what are the various types of gonioscope? So, first of all, see this. This is basically called a direct gonioscope. Direct gonioscope, the examples are KP gonioscope, swan jacob gonioscope or Birkin's gonio lens. Why they are being used? They are being used in the patients where we have to do a EUA, that is the examination under anesthesia or if we have to go for the micro-invasive glaucoma surgeries, the MIGS surgeries. Now, this is an indirect gonioscopy that is being going on. Now, what are the various types of indirect gonioscope? These are the Zeiss gonioscope, Goldman gonioscope or Poshner gonioscope. Why they are called indirect gonioscopes? Because in the indirect gonioscopes, there are the mirrors. So, if you are seeing a superior angle, actually that is the inferior angle of the eye. Okay, If you are seeing an inferior angle, that is actually a superior angle of the eye. So, what you are seeing is the indirect. So, that is called indirect gonioscope. When you are doing a direct gonioscopy, you are seeing the angle of the same side. So, if you are seeing it in the nasal side, it is actually the nasal side. So, the direct and indirect gonioscopes, they are very useful in the patients who basically we have to assess the angle or do the surgeries at the level of angles.